So today is Veterans Day, but it's also Movember. I first learned about the Movember movement from a West Point buddy of mine a number of years ago. Those of us who've served in combat know that we often form the tightest bonds with people who we may never see again. Sadly, but as expected, my buddies and I struggle to find things to do together due to the soul-crushing op-tempo of worldwide deployment and training that we had to endure in places you've heard of and some places you haven't. In hindsight, one of the things that strikes me is the fact that we were already in harm's way and the one thing we decided to do together was to give back even more. Anyway, the best reason to wear a cheesy mustache on national television is precisely because you are all paying attention. I'm happy to open myself up for the jokes and the criticism to raise awareness for men's health, especially prostate cancer, testicular cancer, mental health, and suicide awareness. To borrow from the Movember website, our fathers, partners, brothers, and friends are facing a health crisis, yet is rarely talked about. Men are dying too young. We cannot afford to stay silent. I am fine with being the butt of a joke that means finding a cure. Prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and mental health are afflictions that touch countless American lives and disproportionately affect African American families, including my own. As I said before, a major part of the reason why I'm running is my ability to highlight things that are important outside of politics and to use my blessings to do the little things to assist with causes that are much bigger than me. Thank you for all those who tuned in this morning and to Fox and friends for having me. It was an honor to sit with my brothers and sisters in arms, thank them for their service, but also to highlight critical men's health issues. I hope that you'll join me in spreading the word. God bless.